Hi there everybody and welcome back to Steve Plays Random Games here in Euro Truck Simulator and last time we did the tutorial mission and a trip to Carlisle taking uh, I think it was car parts uh, now we are going to what, what's this? Oh, it's adjusting the thing uh, we're gonna go ahead and do Liverpool to Birmingham nice easy one 106 miles so 2 hours 47 minutes instead of doing four, 450 actually should we do that? Yeah, let's do that actually. Let's let's do an Amsterdam one. Make it a long episode. Might take us a little while. So I hope everyone's doing okay. Oh, I have mail. And as they used to say on AOL, it's not spam. It might be. Uh, we thought you'd like to know we're offering favourable loans to new businesses. Do you need funding to get your business running? We're here to help. Now, we will be doing that. We're going to do a couple of missions, get ourselves to about 10 grand, something like that. Uh, when we get to that sort of money, oh shit, we're in this one again. When we get to that sort of money, that's when uh, we're going to get a loan out and get ourselves our first truck. Uh, only reason I'll go to go for 10 grand is uh, due to uh, potential oh shit uh, fees we're going to come into, so damages to the vehicles, uh, also the loan repayments that we've got to do. Fine. A bit close on that side, but we'll be fine. Which way are we going? Going right, aren't we? Turn, car. Turn. There we go. So off to Amsterdam we go. Taking what was it? Car parts. Let's turn left. Let's. Oh, we've got to slow down. Remember, give way to the right. Oh my God, he was going quick. And we are clear. Let's go. Go on, drive. Wee. Hot air balloon there. So there's always a lot of things going on in this game. There we go. Let's have a look at the driver information. We've got fi 15 on, nearly 1,600 miles worth of fuel on board. And we'll keep it on that one. this one for a minute. We need to stay in the right hand lane, I do believe. Get the indicators on. Stay here because he isn't moving for some gay reason. Go, 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 go. Fuck you. I'm already through. Cross the line of amber. I was over a green, really, but still. Right, so off we go. Back to the motorway. Let's build up some speed. Now, they added physics to the game. Uh, to like the weight of the vehicle. Uh, now that takes into account like your, en your engine of your vehicle not being able to pull as ha as hard. Uh, maybe maybe struggling with loads up hills. I mean, like now, look at it. I'm at full throttle, not in top gear though, but we're idling at 29 mile an hour. We're not going any quicker. I have more mail. For fuck's sake. All right, we're clear left and right. Are we clear? Yeah. Right, turn, 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 turn. Too busy looking. Right, can't steer. There we go. Right, let's just have a look at that mail. Could be anything important. Drivers with own equipment. I'm afraid we do not have our own equipment, so it's punts reading it. So they'll pop up every now and again. Or they'll be like, oh, everyone's got to join up. Like, uh, drive up to Liverpool, try and get this job. So, yeah, good fun. Uh, shit, yeah. This truck, seemingly not liking hills in this payload, uh, this load we've got. Especially in uh, ninth gear. There we go. Bit more flat, let's build up some speed. Shame we've got to burn it all off now. And break. And can't see over the wall. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's go, we're clear. Ooh, drive. There we go. Right, so power. Foot to the floor. And off we go. 
you can get done for causing a collision on this. This is why you have to kind of drive a little bit realistically. Was that tra oh, I thought it was a train, a train lineman for a second until I saw the motorway boards. Uh, services wise, uh, when I mentioned the fatigue before, if you notice on some of them they've got a bed, so that's where you can stop up for the night. Stop, and also you can fuel up. In these mini, in these side missions, the employer play, pays for all your expenses by your fines. Uh, so if I needed fuel, I could go get it. But we're okay. We've got quite a lot. I say quite a lot. We got a boatload. Excuse me for yawning. Need some uh, energy drink, like the truckers need. Should have pulled in at the service station, got a coffee. Uh, so let's keep driving along. Uh, I have got a very bit. Those blobs in the sky are supposed to be birds, for what I'm led to believe. Uh, but uh, obviously, due to shitness of PC, sorry I keep going to that, but. Oh god, break! Ooh, jackknife! Ooh! So I have to turn some of the settings down to make it play. Uh, right, come on, let's get over the over the Humber Bridge. Come on, there you go. Oh, keep driving three lads. One thing that this game really goes for is uh, what's he doing? I also think he's trying to overtake but there's nothing oh he's already powered ahead um, it learn it's got the um, it hasn't got the realistic roads obviously but you've got your road names and all that and it's tried it's best to to simulate truck driving in Europe because obviously most of the truck driving games initially were US um, quite a lot of them were anyway um, see this fellow on the right he's trying to overtake let's put the power down look at him here he's gonna do it honk that wrong one Crash and burn, crash and burn, crash and burn. Farming simulator right there on the left, ladies and gentlemen. I have got that as well, actually. Oh, look at you. Ah, no bad. Right, let's, uh, move on one. Let's hit cruise control while this guy's not going any quicker. Oh, for God's sake, power on. So right now we're driving to um, the dock in order to get the ferry to uh, take us to Amsterdam, which is always good. Uh, there we go, power now. Now the drawback for using this simple auto automatic is I can't shift up, shift down with my things. The problem is I don't like doing it with this it seems because there's a lot of gears you end up redlining very quickly in this in this so I prefer to just let the computer do it and I just concentrate on the driving and obviously talking to you guys so keep on driving Edinburgh on the way are we on the A1 oh, great Oh god! Break! Oh god, that's a sign. Be fine, nobody saw it. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Oh, let's go. That was a tight little corner, that. Should have been paying attention. Let's get onto the main road. Indicate out. They're gonna let me. Nobody's there. We're actually coming off at this next junction as well. 
So we've got uh, we've got to get there before Wednesday, one o'clock in the morning, between uh, between one o'clock in the morning and near just before eight. Our estimated time to get there though is eight o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, so we're going to get a hefty bonus for this for arriving early. So we're going to towards Newcastle for the port at Newcastle or the ferry at Newcastle. We're turning right up here. Doing. We're doing fine. Turn. Oh god, break. Take corner. There we go. We'll keep going. Let's have a look on the map, see how far we are. There we are. We're not a million miles away now. There we go. Is he, what speed is he doing? Getting away from us, we know that. Oh, God. Beep, beep. Right, let's keep going. Yeah, sod the speed limit, sod the police. Let's keep driving. Oh, yeah. Carefully. Well, there's another couple of trucks coming in, probably coming from the port themselves, come off the ferry. Turn in. We have a roundabout, going straight through the roundabout. No one's around, go straight. Pro driver, speed camera, so we've got to come down. Six, I'll do, mate. Back forward. Come off cruise control. And we're going right at the roundabout, so we need to be in the right hand lane. Right, fine. And indicator left. Whoa! Oh, I hit that sign. Okay, that's what it hit me then. Be fine. Be perfectly fine. So you can see the port ahead of us. I think this is actually a. Yeah. It's like this is a border control. It's got our flag and the Netherlands flag on. Oh no, it's still going. Border control. Whee! Oh, customs and immigration. This is a nice and easy port to drive in. It's one of the easier ports to drive straight into. So we're here. We've just got to aim for that anchor. When you get on the Eurostar, you actually have to drive onto the Eurostar. A bit more forward. And enter. So we're going to. Uh, wherever that is, but well, Amsterdam is right there, so embark. Right, right, so we're back, it's currently half eight in the morning, and according to this we've got nowhere to travel, so We've got to go through the main entrance. So it thinks we're still in the port at the moment. First thing we need to do though, gameplay. Use miles off. Now I can't look at my right here we go. Is he gonna let me go? Or do I have to start edging out? I start edging out, I think, aren't I? Yeah, it's 
be that guy. Oh, come on. He let me out. It's his own fault. Well, he didn't let me out, but still. Oh, multi car car crash. Be fine. Drive away. So we're restricted to 30 kilometers now. To just over 25. Now to 50, which is approximately 30 miles now. If not very similar. Notice that we lost the money and not the comp not the f we didn't get fined for it. Well, we got fined for it, but we didn't. We had to pay it out of our own pocket. That one. Uh, wait a minute. Why is it telling me to go the wrong way to Amsterdam? Ah well, it must know better. No way we're going through that. Clearly knows better. A uh, hundred clicks. Let's get some power going. Let's down this right hand side. If only it would automatically change over to mile an hour for us. Don't know what that sign means. So we're looking at about doing 50 at the minute. We're told 100 kilometers is the speed limit. We're not going to even touch that. We're at 75, so we've got 25 to go. So we're not far away. It's probably about 60, 60, 70, isn't it? Right, so we're turning right up the road here. Bremen. Amsterdam at 12 o'clock and we, we are arriving one hell of a lot earlier <laughs> wow well apparently we've got 22 hours to blow <laughs> but we're not going to do that we are not going to do that right let's slow it down and even this left hand lane I think. Oh, come on. Keep driving. Keep, keep green. Keep green. Be fine. Yeah. I think he just turned. As we were going in, I'll zoom in. Turning right here. There we go. Oh, power, come on. Now start turning. Let's count that. Right, 
where have we got to go? Pack it in between a load of tubes and some prefab stuff. I'll see where we are. We're nowhere near at the minute. Let's try it in this mode. Best parking I've ever done. Nor will I ever do. Damn you. For that one, plus 31 for proficiency, and we've got 36 more XP for the perfect park or the parking. So let's continue and let's have a look at what's on the market for next time. Uh, we've got Carlisle Sheffield, that seemed like a good one. Let's have a look at actual price because we need to actually get some money going. So, Liverpool to Cambridge car parts 4,300. I think we'll do that one next time. So thanks for watching. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.